Hi, this is Anthea and this is a weekly oracle card reading for you for the week starting Monday the 15th of April and going through until Sunday the 21st of April. For the reading for this week, I'm going to be working with the messages from your angels oracle cards. This was one of Doreen Virtue's first decks and I have picked some beautiful miniature red roses which match the beautiful uh, scarf that I have the cards placed on. So these are for you. Put our roses aside and put our box aside and we can start our reading. So as always, shuffle the deck until you feel guided to stop. And then I'll select three cards, one for the beginning of the week, one for the middle of the week, and the third card for the end of the week. So the message for us for Monday and Tuesday is Archangel Gabriel. And here the message is you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Archangel Gabriel is an archangel and she is in charge of the area of communication. This is her area of expertise and specialty. So if you're attending a job interview, it's great to call on Archangel Gabriel to assist us and support us. She also is great for performance. So if you're doing some public speaking or singing perhaps, or performing as a musician, performing in some other um, way, call on Archangel Gabriel and her halo color is copper. Uh, so if you think of the color copper or visualize copper color around your own aura, this is actually invoking Archangel Gabriel's energy. Okay, so as I tune into this card, I'm hearing the word specifically writing. So those of us that are writers, it's really important that we keep writing. And I know, being a writer myself, that there, there are insecurities and there are reasons why we might put off writing at some times of our lives, but it's really, really important that we write and that we share our message with the world because we can really help other people. We can heal through our writing and we can also teach through our writing. So writers out there, make sure you keep writing and ask Archangel Gabriel to help you if you feel you need some extra support. Another ascended master who is great to work with if you're a writer is the Hindu deity Ganesh or Ganesha and he can remove, he or she can remove any obstacles in our way. Um, he or she is an elephant headed deity. Okay, the next message for the middle of the week for us is Opal. And here, the message, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well, cared for by God and the angels. So, as I tune into this message, this is about children. It's about children that we may have physically um, as our own sons and daughters, uh, adopted children, children that we foster children that we love, perhaps nieces or nephews or children that we care for, who may be the children of friends. Uh, this, this message is also about children that may be deceased uh, through miscarriages or abortions that people have had. These children, the souls of these children, are saying, hi, I'm fine. I'm in heaven, I'm happy, God and the angels are caring for me. So this is a message of greeting and it's a message of healing. It's about healing those who are affected by grief. And knowing that the angels and God are looking after our children on earth that we care for and also those children who are in heaven. 
The third message for us for the weekend is Archangel Raphael. So this is a very powerful reading. We've heard from Archangel Gabriel here, the messenger angel, and Archangel Raphael is the heaven's physician. So any types of physical ailments or injuries that we have, we can call upon Archangel Raphael to be with us and we can visualize his emerald green light around our aura or we can also visualize his emerald green light around the specific area of our body that may be injured or in pain and this will definitely help us. And we can also uh, call upon Archangel Raphael for reassurance uh, when if we f are feeling uh, down about physical uh, illness or pain or injury we can also ask him to attend medical appointments with us and I find this very very helpful. The message here, I'm helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. This is a very powerful message. So he is telling us that we're spiritual healers and I believe that essentially there is a healer within all of us. There is also an artist within all of us and it is whether we choose to use these uh, God-given gifts or not, um, but we all have these divine abilities that we are born with because we're all children of God. So as I tune into this message, Archangel Raphael is telling us that he will help to heal our own physical challenges, our own injuries, ailments, pain that we, we deal with and he will also help us to use his healing energy to help others uh, in, in a spiritual healing way. So if you are practicing your healing gifts, you can call upon Archangel Raphael to help you to channel his energy so that you can heal others, spread the healing energy with others. And and in turn be a more effective healer by calling upon Archangel Raphael's help and support and he will help us any time we ask him to. Like all the angels they are they are unlimited in the way that they can help us so nothing is too big or small for us to ask them for their help with because they want us to be at peace so but we do need to ask because they respect our free will. So a very powerful reading this week. We've got Archangel Gabriel coming through and telling us that we really need to step up and continue to work on our life purpose involving communication and the arts and the message I got was specifically for writers. In the middle of the week we are receiving a beautiful reassurance from God and the angels and this angel opal that our children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for and at the end at the weekend we're receiving very powerful messages from Archangel Raphael who wants to help us with our own physical uh, challenges and he also wants to help us to help other people so he wants us to use our healing abilities in to the best of our of our abilities in the best way possible so really beautiful reading for this week uh, quite positive and I send you lots of love and hugs and blessings for this week and until next time namaste